Well, we're just sneaking into the positive territory now, but man, are we probably in some for some probably stiff resistance between now and the end of the day. We're going to go to uh, Tony in San Jose. How you doing, Tony? Good, Dave. Uh, David, how about you? I am uh, interested in uh, Workday, W-D-A-Y, which has uh, earnings today also after the bell. Yeah. Uh, are you a, are you trading this or are you looking at it as a long-term investment? Uh, I'm trading it. I think it should, uh, it has hit a top uh, near term. It should go down. Yeah, you got a 50-50 chance here of it going to 157. Uh, I don't think this thing's going to blow up. Uh, earnings have been very good for uh, CRM and some of the other ones in the in the kind of similar sector. So I think they're okay. I love the – there's not many CEOs that I really like or re admire. Most of them are overpaid weasels and skunks. Um you know, I don't express my opinion on those guys, but the uh, but these guys are some of the best uh, that have ever been. They used to own and run PeopleSoft before Oracle uh, took them over, uh, and I've loved this company since it came out and was public. What I haven't been able to do is actually trade this thing effectively uh, because it never seems to give really good signals, uh, but it continues to go up. So I'm going to say this is. Probably a better investment vehicle if you can buy it at the right price than uh, uh, a lot of others. Uh, you've got about the same volume at the lows, and you've got about the same volume at the highs, and that tends to mean a trading range. Uh, if uh, earnings are bad, I think this could go 135. Uh, if earnings are good, you go to 157. Um, to, 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 what are you doing here? Let's take a quick look at this. Let's see uh, what people have been doing if there's enough uh, short interest in this thing. Well, you know what? It has been getting uh, a lot of love from the haters, um, probably averaging about 18 or 19 percent uh, short interest during the daily periods. Let's see what it has longer. You got five days to cover. So you could, I, I think I'm going to say that if it, this thing just meets, uh, you could easily see it into 157s in the next few, few days. So you're along this already? No, no, no. I was thinking to uh, short it because it, uh, according to my thesis, it is right there where I should short it. But, you know, I was kind of, again, this one is pretty tricky. I agree with you. But uh, my probability says it, it uh, more likely to go down than more, you know, than go up. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to so, say... The energy on the way up is exactly the same on the energy on the way down. So I don't that, like. But the candle which you see at the fall at the first, which is huge volume, and that is probably is going to block it to going to 157. Don't you think so? No, not with not with five days to cover. And what do we got here? 100. And, is that right? No, uh, almost 11 million shares short. And people shorting the loving daylights out of it. These guys are going to have to really whiff. Uh, and even then, Wall Street loves these folks for the same reason I do. And that is that they're probably some of the best CEO and CFO that have ever been on uh, uh, any tech stock. Uh, the, the business that these guys are in isn't flaky. It isn't here now, gone later. It's a, you, I mean, for people that don't know what this company is, it's kind of like paychecks, but all online. And I love the idea that these guys basically ha handle all the software and tax charts and everything. And all you do is put somebody in a chair in front of the monitor to enter all the data uh, if, you're, if you're running a company. So for me, this is like the best of everything that the internet and the cloud services offers, uh, along with a business model that is very easy to understand. And that is, you know, as long as the entire market doesn't uh, dive into obscurity, you're probably okay. Now, this one, in the worst of it, went to 157 down to 121. I'm not going to say that that thing did anything but a big consolidation move uh, going sideways. So uh, I, if I had to handicap this, 80% uh, tomorrow this is higher, 20% tomorrow this is 
lower. And uh, what I mean is that it just doesn't go flat. Maybe there's maybe a 20% chance or 30% chance it goes nowhere. But uh, if it does go somewhere, I'm going to say 157, 70, maybe 80%, and 135, maybe 20%. Thank is you the way I would for handle. your view. What's that? Thank you for your view. That's you what I wanted to know. <laughs> is there anything else? I, I would say that I would lean more toward your thing if there weren't all those people short this thing. Right. Okay. That's why. I mean, we're, I'm going to go through a couple of stocks here in just a minute that came out with earnings that are very similar with Workday, and there was just a ton of people short, and they're up 20 percent today. And I can't say that the earnings were that good. I can just say that there were that many people off sides. Yeah, I agree with you. Sometimes, okay. Sometimes you know they want to just squeeze the sorts. Yep. Yep. And this time of year, it is perfect. Everything's kind of set up that way. Um, we're getting right to where maximum resistance should be, which is about 2750 on the S&P cash. Um, NASDAQ's eh, probably should be doing a lot more. Kind of dislike that the semis aren't really cooperating so much. They're not down, but they certainly are not up, uh, consistent with the rest of the market over the last couple of days. But other than that, actually fairly good. And of course, one of the other things uh, we, we were looking for was some kind of low uh, in the energy sector, not that you actually wanted to play it, uh, but that it's 30% of the S&P and that uh, just crude being up a buck and a half today is and probably going to be up over the next week. I think it could go up to maybe 55 bucks or so just on a dead cat bounce. And uh, that would just put a floor uh, under everything starting the next week. Another reason why I would not be short workday is uh, fund buying starts tomorrow. So even if you get bad news, I think a lot of people will love this stock. There would have to be something really horrible happen, like the CEO or CFO quit, I think, for Wall Street not to love it. So if it did dip down, I would suspect that there would be a lot of people in the funds wanting to pick it up on the discount. Okay, thank you. You bet. Thanks for the call. Again, you can call me at 877-927-6648. As we said, there were some big moves out here today, and I don't think the earnings justified the moves.